We're underway at sea, east of the Shetland Islands. This prototype supply ship is heading for an oil platform in the North Sea. Dirk Jürgens is head of development at German mechanical engineering company Voigt. On this trip, he's testing a new propulsion system. Jürgens tells us about the new drive, which is quite a novelty for a ship this size. We've prepared an animation of it. Here we see the Edda Fram. And this is what the ship looks like underwater. Now we'll see the secret of the ship. These are the two Voigtschneider propellers with their very long blades. They're three meters long. That's what drives the ship. The boat is delivering supplies to seven different drilling platforms in the space of just four days. The first stop lies somewhere between Iceland and Norway. The weather is remarkably good for this time of year. But the crane operator still has a difficult task, unloading containers from the bobbing ship onto the platform and bringing others on board. The new propellers are designed to keep the ship steady even in rough water. We call this roll stabilization. We adjust the drive to reduce the rolling motion and stabilize the ship. This is a recent invention. Only a Voigtschneider propeller allows the ship to hold its position dynamically and minimize the rolling motion. No other drives perform like this. At 2 million euros, the propulsion system is twice as expensive as conventional propellers but it makes the ship considerably more maneuverable and also lowers fuel costs. So far, all the measurements are looking good. Now that night has fallen, it's time for a special test. Dirk Jürgens is trying to see how the freighter will behave at different rotor speeds. All the lights are turned off on the bridge, and the captain revs up the engine. Suddenly, the ship starts shaking violently. The entire ship is oscillating back and forth, kind of like this. My pen is the deckhouse. It swings up and down like crazy. Up here, we're better than any sensor. The term experts use to describe the phenomenon is natural resonance. Fortunately, the problem can be quickly solved with a software update that adjusts the propeller's rotational speed. The next morning, the sea is rough. These are ideal conditions to continue testing the roll stabilization. A slight adjustment to the propeller's direction of thrust, and suddenly, the ship sits quite still on the water. On the bridge, we don't feel any rocking motion at all. Unloading freight at the drilling station should be a piece of cake. Although what we had was mainly pitch and not roll, it was a lot better after we turned on the roll stabilization briefly. After the small problem we had yesterday, which is not unusual during tests like these, everything's running fine now. The new drive has passed with flying colors. Even the normally camera-shy captain is enthusiastic. It's better on DP. 
We were working up there now with uh, swell between two and three meters, and uh, uh, we were sitting within the meter. Put the ring to one meter, and you can see it, we were staying in that meter. For the engineers, the test is over. Weather reports say a storm is coming up, but thanks to the new propellers, deliveries are expected to go smoothly.